Save 10% with my code BOBBY10 on raw, organic, grass-fed and grass-finished freeze-dried organ meats from Grassland Nutrition. Link in the description box. And absolutely no protein, no saturated fats, no omega-3s as you can see and no micronutrients at all. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, I know it has been a while since I reacted to vegan YouTube. However, we are back with even more mental illness than ever. Right now, vegan tuna is trending on Instagram. I don't expect to see one gram of protein in those recipes. Let's have a look. Did you know that you can make vegan tuna with watermelon and only four ingredients? Now I know. Crazy. Yeah. Watermelon tuna. Yes. Hi. <laughs> for the marinade, we'll need sesame oil, soy <laughs> sauce, nori for the fishy flavor, wow. and some neutral oil. That Fantastic! We need vegetable oils on top of fruit in order to make it taste like fish flesh. <laughs> sure. Then let Same it nutrients. marinate. Place it on a baking tray and bake for one hour. This yes, let's bake the fruit so we kill off the enzymes and the vitamin C. We changed the texture. Good idea. It's about Ooh, the texture. It looks fishy. I will dip it in no, the leftover marinade and then crust with sesame seeds. Wow. All right, next one. Did you know that tuna is being dangerously overfished in our oceans? The crazy thing is we don't need to eat it when you can have recipes like this watermelon tuna I've made. <laughs> Me and my mum. Yeah, you don't need to eat real tuna, just eat watermelon instead. At the end of this video, we're gonna compare the nutritional facts. Made. Me and my mum shared this for lunch and she was mind blown. So you'll need a watermelon sure and then cut it in half and into courses. So cut out the watermelon flesh and then cut it into steak slices. The same recipe. Then we're gonna make this super fishy marinade. The secret to the fishiness is this noise sheet. Then you want to place the watermelon. The funny thing is vegans don't even know that raw tuna doesn't taste fishy at all. This fishy taste comes about if you cook fish. If you eat raw fish, it tastes absolutely neutral and doesn't smell like anything. On top of that, dear vegans, you don't need any seasoning in order to enjoy raw tuna sashimi. Now then in the marinade for up to an hour, then wet it in the oven to draw out the moisture. And then we're going to sear it on the barbecue. <laughs> you can also fry it in a pan, it's grilling slice right it up into chunks just like a tuna <laughs> steak, and then season it with sesame seeds, yes, spring onions, and Yes, you need a steak and knife in order to cut watermelon. Lie. Would you make this instead of killing those little fishes? No. All right, we're on the vegan's favorite page, chronometer.com. Here you can see I typed in raw tuna, exactly 100 grams. So if we scroll down, we can see that 100 grams of tuna gives us roughly 144 calories, 23 grams of protein, zero carbs, and about five grams of fat. Those are the macronutrients. If we scroll down to the micronutrients, we can see that we get 84% of our omega-3s by just consuming 100 grams of tuna. Here you can see the amino acid profile from yet again 100 grams of tuna and usually we eat way more than just 100 grams. Vitamin B1 20% of your daily recommendation, B2 roughly 20% as well, B3 54%, B5 21%, B6 35% and B12, the precious B12 dear vegans, 393%. It continues with 7 73% of vitamin A, real vitamin A, not beta carotene, and 38% of vitamin D, just 7% of vitamin E here. In terms of minerals, we get some copper, some iron, some magnesium, plenty of phosphorus, 36%, and a ton of selenium, which is 66%. All right, now let's check out 100 grams of watermelon. Yet again, this is raw, so if we take the cooked equivalent, that the vegans just used, then we would have way less water, of course, and no vitamin C whatsoever. Let's take the raw version to give them the benefit of the doubt. So as you can see, you're not getting anything, basically. You have 30 calories instead of over 100 calories. And if you look into the micronutrients, it's pretty much all at zero. The highest, as I said, is the vitamin C, which is at 9%. And after cooking, it is at 0% yet again. 
0.6 grams of protein, just 7.6 grams of carbs and 0.2 grams of fat. As you can see, the only thing that this watermelon delivers is carbohydrates, exactly the macronutrient that is lacking within fish, within raw tuna. Do you get it now? If you're eating raw tuna, you're not eating it for the carbs, you're eating it for the saturated fats, for the omega-3 fats and for the proteins and all the micronutrients that come with it. However, if you're eating watermelon, you're simply getting seven measly carbs and absolutely no protein, no saturated fats, no omega-3s as you can see and no micronutrients at all. All right, guys, this is it for today's vegan reaction video. An absolute pleasure to return to vegan YouTube, vegan logic at its finest. If you like this video, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support this channel, all the links are in the description box below. And guys, if you want me to continue with vegan reaction videos, please do me a favor and post in the comment section who I should react to next. Thank you very much. As always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.